Well, it is January 13th today, Monday. I got the day off from work. And uh, really trying to get some more calling sequences here on the, the video. Uh, Lake Natural, I'm running late this morning. I forgot my gloves. And I just dropped the camera about 25 feet out of this tree. So it's shaping up to be a good morning to get something killed. Uh, got a perfect west wind. Kind of expecting any coyotes to come from here. I actually missed a coyote a week, about a week ago. New Year's Eve morning, two weeks ago, I guess it was. Right, right below me here. I was coming in and he boogered, so. Um, this is one of my cat spots. We're not, we're not gonna rule out the chance that we might kill a cat here. We've killed a pile of them in here, so. Um, maybe get loaded up here, get to calling, and see what we can do. There's a nice bobcat right here. It sounded like I hit him. Oh man. I have been calling and calling and calling and just struggling. And a nice cat slipped right in on us. And I've, we've killed a lot of cats right about where that one was sitting. I think I rolled him over. The, I heard the bullet hit at least something hard. But with the sun coming up right here, it blew me right out when I shot. I couldn't see anything, so it sounded good. I'm gonna watch the footage back because I'm pretty amped up right now. It's one of my good cat spots, but I've been trying to kill a coyote here and I missed one a couple weeks ago, so I really wasn't expecting to see a cat today.
predator call in the northeast. There is nothing better than this, man. I live for this stuff. Get the day off. I could pick my boy up from school and the nice bobcat in the back of the truck, I think. So, Let's see what he thinks of that. If I get out of here enough, I might have time to do another spot, see if we can kill a coyote. So, I'll grab the camera and get out of here. Let's go look and see what we got. And there you have it. So, he actually broke through the crust here a couple of times, but you can see what these cats do. This is a perfect example. I am in just the thickest, dense cover you've ever seen behind me. Uh, and this perch, as you can see, is just an absolute perfect spot for a cat to get a little bit of elevation and kind of look towards where you're calling. Uh, of all the cats we've killed, only one has ever really come hard charging to a decoy or to the call. Um, like I said, this is probably the third or fourth cat that we killed that was sitting on this piece of ledge right here. Um, there's another spot they like to perch down a little closer to the tree. But uh, you can see where he came in. I'll show you guys what a, for those of you who don't, cat hunter you guys in New Hampshire who can't cat hunt I will show you a perfect example of a cat track let's just pull him out of here see what he looks like Not much explaining to do on this hunt. Uh, came out to an elevated platform here on a power line. Uh, real, real thick cover to the backside here. And uh, another cat tried to creep out here. You know, the maniac distress has been working wonders for us the last few years. Uh, pretty much been leaving the electronic calls at home at this point. We're killing them up pretty good with this thing. So, um, beautiful cat. Not my biggest cat, but he's probably, oh, 23, 25 pounds maybe, uh, but what an animal. If you're a, any kind of predator hunter at all, you know calling wise, uh, this is it right here. I mean, you could call coyotes and, and fox come running, but to call in a creature that is just so cautious like this here, and, and uh, you know, you gotta have respect for these animals. He almost made it. But he met his match in the Maniac Distress Call. So, another one down for uh, the Season 5 DVD. We're going to get out of here and see if we can't get a coyote killed this afternoon.